Say I've been grinding for a long time. Went through trials and tribulations, shit. I still kept a strong mind. I put it all on the line. I'm from the school of the hard knocks. Think so much that my brain hurt and see stars in the city. Yeah, yeah. I made some out of nothing. Had to run on my money. Had to run on my money. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Robin here. You're to the budget. Back with another video. So I'll do something a little different today. Uh, this is the first video I've done in weeks. Um, the videos y'all have been seeing, it was already pre-made. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna take y'all on the day with me. Um, so I'm currently on vacation, guys. Let me put this right here. So I'm currently on vacation. I actually got a load in the back of some shopping carts uh, that I'm transporting. Uh, huge shout out to my boy Jose uh, for actually letting me use his trailer. Um, and no huge shout out to Doug because Doug didn't show up today. Uh, he's supposed to have been helping me. So I went to actually Taco Bar here in Houston. Uh, places off the chain. Um, basically, it's bacon, potato, eggs, chorizo, shredded cheese, and tortilla. So, I'm about to demolish this real quick, and then I'll be back, put the camera on. But today, nothing's planned. I'm doing something totally different. I'm just going to go as the day go, and we're just going to do a video, kind of like a vlog style. And I'll just title this video, Whatever Happens Today. So I'll see y'all when I finish killing this right here. Man, just look at it. It looks so good, man. It looks so good. Man, that was good, guys. Man, I know y'all don't get to see a lot of Charger videos, but I'm just so in love with my F-150. Um, It's like when you get a new toy, man. I don't know how many times I can explain this, but it's like when you get a new toy, you always want to freaking play with it. And I don't want to say nothing else because it looks so, so freaking dead. As you can see, I don't know if you can see in the back, but as you can see in the back, I got a full load back there. In the truck, this is my first time ever hauling something this heavy in this truck. Now, I hauled some stuff before. But this is by far the heaviest uh, stuff I ever hauled before. And it's like you're riding really good. Uh, brakes holding up good and everything. Like right now I have to push my brakes. Um, but everything, it seems to be wonderful. But as you can see right there, if you look in the rear view mirror, you see that big old load right there. And this wouldn't have been possible without my boy Jose. Um, maybe you'll see him in his truck later on in the video. I don't know yet. Um, but everything is looking good. Let me get off this camera, guys, because I need to pay attention um, to the baskets. Make sure nothing falls off. <laughs> but I made sure it was tight like 20 times already. But that's just how I am. Like when I used to haul cars and stuff, I used to make sure I used to stop like 20 times. Um, but other than that, man, I'll be right, right, right back. And just enjoy my day, man. Hopefully you like the video. I don't know what's going to pop up today. It's just, I'm just going to take it today as I can. But I am going to go to the store and get some LEDs. I am interested in actually putting LEDs in my truck like I have in my charger at the bottom part. Um, and I'm going to be looking for a subwoofer box. Uh, for the truck as well online. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ordered as well. Alright guys, just like that. The trailer is disconnected in everything. So, um, one thing I have to say. This is a waste of time. Like, what's the point of a trailer backup, right? What's the point? What's the point? Add a trailer. Like if you don't, if you don't add, if you don't have a trailer, 
then there's no way you can use that. So I think it's pointless. Um, I don't own a trailer, but if I wanted to use a trailer like I did right now, it's no way I can actually use this option right here because you have to put stickers. You know what? I'm going to show you um, how the whole adding the thing works. Did you know that your vehicle may be equipped with a convenient feature that can help make maneuvering a trailer in reverse easy? It's called Pro Trailer Backup Assist, and there are a few steps you'll need to do first in order to use it. You'll need a few things to help with the setup. Your supplied quick start setup guide with measurement card, a tape measure, a pen or pencil, an assistant to help out if needed, as well as the checkered sticker that comes with your guide, which I'll tell you about later. First, you'll need to connect your vehicle to your trailer on a level surface. Boring. This is so boring. This is why I think it's a bad idea to do this. Dumb technology, in my point, in my opinion. Boring. Yeah, so guys, it's, it's to me, it's pointless. Uh, and plus, you don't need it because when you put your truck in reverse, you have an ink move forward so y'all can actually see it. When you put your truck in reverse, you have these black lines that even up with the hitch. So, I don't know. Maybe that's for rookies or whatever. Um, I don't know. But I think the whole trailer backup is a waste of time. And let me show you my homie's truck real fast. The one that actually Jose let me use a trailer. And then tell me what y'all think about his truck, man. His truck is off the freaking chain, though. Off the chain. So I'm going to drive over here. It's literally way over there. So I'm going to drive over there and let y'all see it and let y'all check it out. All right, guys. So this is his truck right here. That mug is wide, ain't it? That mug looks good. Actually, I'm going to go get a picture right now of his truck, so I'll be right back. Yep, that's one sexy ass truck, like, for real, for real. For real, for real, guys. I wonder, I wonder what year it is. That mother is crazy. Made me want to go with a bigger lift and, um... Bigger, well, I'm going, oh, I'm going bigger rims, so bigger tires. I know for sure I need bigger tires. For sure, for sure. What's up, Chico? This is a brother. <laughs> Yep, huge shout out to Jose for letting me use a trailer, man. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to get into today, but I was just sitting here. I was even asking him, like, what's the point of this? Uh, you know what? Hold on. Let me put my seat right on. I was even asking him what was the whole point of the backup. I know what's the point, but... I don't know, it seems pointless if you ask me because you have to, man, this truck's flying. Alright, let me uh, switch out my battery, man, my battery going dead, but I just don't get the point of it, guys, because if you don't own a trailer, then you can't utilize it, so... That's like another option. Some people be buying the trucks for it, don't know what it's for or whatever. But my battery's going dead, guys. Um, pop a new battery in there when I get closer to home. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. Guys, look what I am in. Guys, when I say I haven't drove this charger in weeks, I haven't drove it in weeks. I couldn't find my keys. But. I wasn't looking hard enough. It was in my freaking uh, book bag, my laptop book bag, uh, backpack, whatever you want to call it. I have a, like a backpack for my laptop. Man, they was in there the whole freaking time. And then I also have another cell phone that I couldn't find. I thought somebody stole it. It was in there too. So when I can't find stuff, I just look at my book bag going forward. But I was literally looking everywhere for this 
dang keys. I was looking underneath my bed, underneath the couch, underneath the dining room table, underneath the, uh, I don't know what you call the other table, the living room table, everywhere, like in my wife's car, everywhere at work, couldn't find it. So I'm officially back in the charger. Uh, I, I promise you guys, I haven't drove this car in literally two freaking weeks. And that's how long has it been. So I'm about to, I'm trying to see if I can literally take this car to a drive-through car wash. I don't know if it's too slow or what, but I wanna, and of course, I need freaking gas. I don't know if it's too low or what, but I wanna try to take it to a car wash where I can just get it clean. But I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, I see hopefully I can do it hopefully I can fit inside of it this is gonna be my first time ever taking it to a car wash like this remember I took another I took it to another car wash and I said it was a waste of money uh, but I know this car wash is pretty good because I take my wife's car here but I don't know I'm gonna take that chance guys I'm gonna take this chance but I am freaking excited I'm back in the charger stars in the ceiling you know what I'm saying um, I'm just excited I'm back in the charger, dude. Like, I just gotta be careful because with the 10, I got 20% all the way around. I can't literally see in this. You can't see at all in this uh, charger. So, that's the only downfall about driving this. Because I have a lot of state troopers over here. Um, and you gotta be low key. Oh, I was going. So where was I going? I was taking. My youngest daughter to school one day. It was a state trooper next to me. I think he stays in my neighborhood, if I'm not mistaken. And he was writing down my Instagram. I don't know if he got it right because he's seen the Instagram logo. I mean, the, Inst the Instagram emblem on my truck, and I seen him writing it down. But some people don't get it right. They put uh, F-150 that boosted, or they just do that boosted and don't put F-150. But if you ain't following me on Instagram, guys, on this on this car, make sure you follow me at Miracle Whip 2.0 underscore 2.0. I think it's underscore. Hold on, let me check. 2 do do. Uh, yeah, underscore 2.0, and then the other one is that boosted F150 does. Ooh, that's an air freshener that boosted f-150 please follow me on instagram i'm trying to get my uh following up i really don't put a lot of effort into it but hey it ain't gonna hurt to try to get the following up but other than that guys i see y'all at the car wash yeah all right guys first time for anything man i don't know how this is gonna go hey but a, a fun uh fun fact guys about this car wash so i have a couple buddies and where we stay it wasn't no car washes out here. Now they have one, two, two, and they about to do three. Uh, so I was like, hey, man, let's go get a business loan. Uh, we all get a certain amount of money, and we get a business loan. I don't like that. I don't like how that sound. Probably hit one of my wheels. But I said, let's get a business loan, and let's open up a car wash over here in this area since there is no car wash over here um nobody was nobody wanted to do it basically nobody wanted to take that risk and this car wash right here guys i don't know if y'all can hear me but this car wash always 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 freaking busy so this could have been our freaking car wash like literally guys this could have been our freaking car wash um, but it's all good. It didn't happen for a reason. Um, and the reason why y'all probably wondering, like, why are you in the car wash? I'm finna get my wheels repowder coated, so uh, I'm not really tripping. But best believe when I get my it's freaking loud. Best believe when I get my uh. Best believe when I get my wheels powder coated. Um, I won't be doing this ever again. And then the other reason why I never came into one of these things because I'm scared of the splitters I made. 
that. I don't know how they hold up, but we'll see. Hopefully nothing fell apart uh, or nothing, but we'll see. We shall see. Comment below if you think it tore up my wheels. Comment below before I get out. Comment below. Comment below. Comment below. I gotta reset this damn airbag. One of the lights was blinking. Alright. Let's see. Try off the rest of this car real fast, and I'll be back. Jeez, I, just like that, guys, we are freaking done. Um, it didn't mess up the wheels, though, but I know in the future, if I ever go back there, like, it didn't scratch that one of the wheels. In the future, if I ever go there, I won't be getting a tire shine because um, it thinks the tire, sh the tire shine is for, like, bigger tires. So it literally put armor all around the rim, all the way around onto the white paint. But so in the future, I know not to get tires shine. Man, I can't believe I took the chance of doing that, but it actually washed the car like really, really good. Hey, this one, I'm wrapping up the video, but comment below. Do y'all think it's about time for me to get my interior? My, my interior guy's not booked up as much no more. Do you think I should go red? I don't think I should go red because my suspension is not really red. It's like a candy red. Well, it is candy red in my wheels. So do y'all think I should go either red? What I'm thinking is black, uh, black interior, black leather with like that candy red stitching. I don't know. Comment below. This is Robbie you to the budget guys. Hope you enjoyed this boring vlog. Um, this is just what I do on a daily basis. So I'll let y'all see how my life is. I don't do nothing too crazy. I didn't go get the lights for the truck. I do that tomorrow video. But yeah, this is Robbie Tone Budget Guys. Peace. <music>